Hi, <laughs> welcome to Maxion Planet, and today we're at New Zealand versus Namibia. Yeah. 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 So as we round the corner here into this plaza, which is uh, outside Tobitaku Station, we can see things a bit more subdued than yesterday and the England versus Argentina game. We don't have the uh, drinking of the Argentine and uh, English fans that was taking place in advance of uh, that great game yesterday. <laughs> Brilliant, some good place playing. This is what the, the finished product looks like here, looking good. The little shortcut in case you uh, can't be bothered to line up in the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Team USA here representing. Brilliant. Magnificent. Good to see these guys again. <laughs> Since yesterday, they're all lining up there. High-fiving the fans as they're going in. I've got the trusty S7 Edge, but this is what the professionals look like here. Here are some Namibian fans flying the flag, literally. The sky's magnificent over Tobitaku, Ajinomoto Stadium. There's a bit of rain this morning in Tokyo, but luckily that's cleared up in time for the match. This place has become a kind of second home to me over the last uh, few weeks. The official merchandise lines long as ever. Oh, to be a licensee. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Today's gate. And let's go and take a look at the quality of the pitch after yesterday's England-Argentina game. Looking fabulous. The grounds people have done great work. And they should, they should be a fun match. Teams going in. Team announcement for Namibia coming up. Huge respect, as always, from all the fans. The patient for the All Black team announcement. Jordi Barrett gets a massive cheer. As does Aaron Smith. It begins. Listen to that roar. The Tokyo Stadium delivering the atmosphere once again. The teams on their way out. And the sky, look at this magnificent. The sun always shines in Tokyo. Well, except, uh, except when it doesn't. Maybe you're on the big screen there in blue. I like that kit, it's a nice kit. Okay, we got the dramatic music. Now, the taiko drumming. Here we go. Dum. 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 What I'm talking about, hair always stands on end when I hear that because we know it's another game in this incredible tournament, this historic tournament. Rugby World Cup 2019, New Zealand versus Namibia. Here we go. It's time to be upstanding for the national anthems. New Zealand first.
New Zealand national anthem. And now for Namibia. in the stadium for the Namibian national anthem. And now, what so many people are here to see, the Haka. down to kick off. Let's do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Namibia get us underway. And he's done it. He's done it. Namibian penalty. They start the scoring. Three to zero after three minutes. So coming up to seven minutes in, New Zealand just scored a fantastic try. Great kick to the corner, taken beautifully. And now we're coming up to the conversion. <laughs> Jordi Barrett with his first kick of the game. But he misses, so the score remains New Zealand 5, Namibia 3. <laughs> 13 minutes gone and Namibia have just gone on a fantastic run. The crowd applauding this. Great, great rugby. Oh, he just worked through that little gap there. Fantastic, just watching the replay on the big screen. Great play. You know what that flag waving means. It means that New Zealand, almost 21 minutes in, have just scored their second try. So the gap grows 10 to 3. Waiting to see if the conversion is successful. Well, 
well. It happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> an interesting one there. But regardless, New Zealand now 10 to 3 against Namibia after 22 minutes. 25 minutes gone. And it's a Namibian penalty. Gap seven points currently. If he uh, nails this, then we'll uh, we'll have a only four point gap. Wow! Look at that. <laughs> All flying straight towards us here. <laughs> Successful penalty. And it's New Zealand 10, Namibia 6. After 26 minutes. All right, let's wait for it. Let's wait for Kabuki Man. Oh, huge disappointment amongst the crowd as there is no Kabuki Man. We'll just have to do it ourselves. Yo! just have the kickoff after the second Namibian penalty 27 minutes gone and Namibia attacking another great opportunity to break here move you see there so the refs given and not moving away <laughs> And who would have thought, after almost 30 minutes, that Namibia would be only one point behind the All Blacks? But they are 10 to 9. Amazing look over here. The Namibian fans giving it the large. 34 and a half minutes gone. The All Blacks here spreading the ball. Namibian defence holding them off. First two conversions missed. Let's see what he can do. The a lot more straightforward than the previous ones and that's gone straight down the middle. Conversion successful. New Zealand 17, Namibia 9 with four minutes to go until the gong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Kabuki man been absent for the last two starts. This is prime Kabuki man territory. Where is he? Brilliant. We continue. 44 minutes into this first half. Yeah. That's it. I knew it. I knew it. Ben Smith, the try scorer. Smith. 22 to 9 at New Zealand lead. Jordy Barrett. And there we go. Conversion successful. New Zealand 24. Namibia 9, Namibia fighting hard in that half, but couldn't undo the favourites who pulled away as the game went on. It's karaoke time. Three rows, take me home to the place. Have it all, West Virginia. Sambon Jimmy. Right. Anchor with the Sambon Jimmy and Kabuki man. Brilliant, and we're off second half. Oh. 41 minutes, start of the second half. Look how close New Zealand are there. And by close, I mean, that's a try. Barely a minute and a half gone in this second half, and New Zealand now extending their lead. New Zealand number one, Jack Woody, the try. The score is now New Zealand 29. Straight through the middle there for another two points onto New Zealand's lead. Successful conversion. Jordy Barrett. 22 point gap after 43 minutes. Forty-six minutes, and it's another New Zealand try. This time by Anton Leonard Brown. Second try of the game. Thirty-six to nine. Forty-seven minutes and a half gone, and the conversion for New Zealand to open up a 29-point gap if he's successful. Great kick, great kick, and the gap is 29 points. <laughs> 38 to New Zealand and playing Namibia's nine. 49 and a half minutes gone. Namibian counter-attack. Yeah. 
Well done, lads. 50 minute mark. 52 minutes in and we have just had another Kiwi try. Some great play, moving the ball down the line. 43 to nine, New Zealand lead. This conversion would make it 45 points to nine. And he's done it, he's done it. Beautiful kick. Fifty-four and a half minutes gone. Another Kiwi attack. I think that's a try. <laughs> And it's a try. What? Is it a try? Is that a try? Yep. Sam Whitelock. <laughs> bit, of, bit, of a, bit of a delayed reaction from the uh, stadium. <laughs> <laughs> that was the conversion. Oh, he's giving the ball back. <laughs> the conversion ball actually came into the crowd there. And there she is. The ball person running back. But yeah, 52 to 9. The wave is coming. Even the category A seats are up for it now. Yes, it's made it past them. It's coming. Wave has now made it all the way across the other side of the stadium. And the top tier as well. All in sync. Pass category A. Coming up to 67 minutes, more all black possession. He's done it, he's done it, he's done it, it's been given. 
given. It's been given. Just grab 10. A 50 point gap for New Zealand here. With 11 minutes to go. 75 minutes gone. More Kiwi play. Oh, behind the back. He's given it. <laughs> Another try. That's interesting. <laughs> we just... I think it was just asked by one of his teammates. Did you get it? And he said, I don't know, probably. <laughs> So it's gone to the GMO and the Gladiator music pounding away. There's uh, refs down there. And what they're looking at is, of course, a big screen behind me. So they're watching this thing. Oh, no, there's I an mean, epic movement by the All Blacks. Cherry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. coming 78 minutes another try for New Zealand the drama tough 
tough conversion to extend the lead even more. Thirty seconds to go. Ah, he's missed it. New Zealand 71, Namibia 9. Ten seconds until the gong. Two, one. There it is. Anton Leonard Brown's been named player of the match. Kabuki Man makes his final appearance of the day. Fantastic. Both teams coming out together, which is really great to see. Next game for me, England versus France. That's going to be in Yokohama next Saturday, followed by Japan versus Scotland, which has got to be one of the most crucial games in this country's uh, sporting history. All right. Thank you for joining us. And as we like to say, we continue. Amen. Hey,